Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome to a brand new video on SAO Fatal Bullet. My name is Vince SG and this video is going to be showing you some money farm spots, places where you can find rubies, high quality sapphires, and high quality emeralds, three of the most expensive items in the game that you can sell. Um, and then stay tuned for the end of this video, I'm going to take all the stuff that I farmed and sell it and see exactly how much I got. Shout out to the homie Why So Shady for giving me the idea for this video. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first credit farming zone that I'm going to show you is going to be in the Old South, and this is probably going to be the farming zone that gets you the most credits back per enemy defeated. So head over to the Old South and then the City Ruins South entrance, and you're going to be fighting a monster or a creature, well, a robot look, that looks like Starscream. Uh, he's called the Beleaguering Apostle, and every time you defeat one of these Beleaguering Apostles, they will drop for you a high-quality emerald, and those things get you about 500,000 credits per emerald, all right? Now, be forewarned, because these things, if you are low level, they are not a pushover. They are really, really strong, no matter what level they are, and they are just really, really annoying. Another thing to be worried, too, is when you're over here fighting the beleaguering apostles, they like to leave the zone and go into the zone of other, you know, characters or other monsters or, or enemies that are in the area, and they can join the fight as well and make it a little bit more difficult. So just be very wary on that. Now, there are other Starscream looking Yamines in the area, but they are not the beleaguering apostles. So definitely be on the lookout for the names, all right? All right, the next farming zone I'm going to show you is going to be actually right here in the same exact area, the City Ruins South Entrance, and you're going to be fighting these little gremlin, overgrown gremlin monsters called hooligans, and they drop three rubies per kill, three rubies per kill, and these things are all over the area, like literally they are everywhere. There's actually a spot um, to the... Uh, side of the old road where there's just a gang of them. I don't suggest going there because they're so close in proximity that they will gang up on you and like, you know, mooly whoop you for real. But the thing about these hooligans, I think it's a little bit better fighting the hooligans than fighting the Starscream Yamines is because they have a really good respawn time. There's like two in the area that you can kind of go back and forth between. There's one over here and then one on the other side over there that I just fought. And you kill those things and every time they die, they will drop three rubies and these rubies catch you about 25,000 credits a piece and these hooligans are actually pretty easy to fight if you have the right team composition with you i would suggest taking Elizabeth with you because she has some really unique abilities or you can just look and see what she has and take it but i just suggest taking Elizabeth. i love using her when fighting these hooligans a um, little bit later on if you are worried if you're interested in it i'm going to make a video talking about the different npc characters that you can put on your team and a really good character composition or team composition when it comes to uh, farming loot or going and fighting specific bosses, which ones you should take with you. So definitely stay tuned for that video. All right, hooligans, number two, probably one of the best, if not the best, farming or uh, credit farming. All right, so the next farming spot I'm going to show you is going to be in the same exact zone, except it's going to be a little bit off to the side of ways at a place called the Outskirts Facility. You can see it here on the map. I actually have a mission there. It's unrelated to this. Somebody gave me the idea to do a video on how to get cash, and I was looking for this specific enemy, and they are called the Sniper Butterflies or the Butterfly Snipers. They look just like the Starscream Yamis from before, the Beleaguering Apostles, but they are different. They are a little bit weaker, and what they drop is two high quality sapphires per kill two high quality sapphires per kill and those high quality sapphires will get you a hundred thousand credits apiece now this is a really good farming zone a really good farming spot because you can dip inside of the outskirts facility after you kill two of them and come right back out and they will have respawned and you can rinse and repeat and do this over as many times as possible i did this for about 40 minutes and i'm not dissatisfied with the results 
All right, so Method 4 and 5 kind of go hand in hand a little bit. Um, they're in basically the same area. You want to head over to the Solitary Sands and head over to this area, and you're going to find these creatures called Delinquents. They are just like the Hooligans, except they are a little bit weaker. And what they drop is two rubies per go. Now, you know rubies, they get you 25,000 credits apiece. So you can kill these things and drop them pretty good. Now, these, now I was really convinced that the Delinquents, there were two of them in this specific area, but I don't know, maybe I was. I was on something at that time. It was like too late at night or whatever. But what you can do is after you kill this delinquent, it's going to take him about a good minute and a half to respawn. In this area, there are a lot of enemies to fight. So what I suggest is if you have any items that allow you to get a higher percentage on your drop rate, rare drop rate, do that and go around in this little circuit I've got here. You can go over to the shipyard, kill these three enemies. There are a three trio of human players that are over here to that respawn i'm gonna show you those in a second um kill all these enemies kill a bunch of scorpions that are in the area when you are fighting the delinquent and then by the time you finish fighting all of those things the delinquent will have respawned and then you sort of do the whole thing over again now the thing about it is is as you're killing the the scorpions and these player characters they're going to drop items unappraised items okay so i guess my advice is to you is to go into this uh, farming zone with the mindset of I have my items. I'm not really looking for new items, but be on the lookout for weapons or equipment that may be better than what you have. Now, the reason why I say that this is, I don't know, it could be the best or it could kind of be the worst. I mean, it's kind of a, a double sided sword here. Um, good on, on one side and kind of good on the other side, but not really. You will acquire a lot of equipment a lot of items and it will make you overweight if you do this for too long so you can't really dodge the uh delinquent that much but it's okay if you are strong enough to you know carry the stuff you don't have a whole lot of stuff in your inventory because if you're like me i have a lot of crap in my inventory and it's like as soon as i pick up two things i'm overweight you know not not seriously but uh yeah definitely this method is really good because you run around and you fight everything, collect their drops, and then you take those drops and you go and sell them so you can see a really big uh, fast return. All right, and that's it. Now, as promised in the beginning, let's go and sell this stuff. I literally grinded every spot for about 35 minutes, and let's see what I can get here first, see if I have any items to appraise. No items to appraise, so I'm going to go ahead and sell everything. So go to the materials and go to chronological or type. There we go. And then first, we'll do the rubies, 25,000 apiece. I have 234 rubies. How much is that going to get me? That's like 5,850,000 thousand credits for those rubies all right let's go on down to the high quality sapphire that's a hundred thousand credits a piece and i have 61 of those that's going to bring up my credit total to eleven million nine hundred and fifty thousand credits and then go down to the high quality emeralds i have 23 of these five hundred thousand credit yeah i mean that brings me to twenty three million four hundred and fifty thousand credits Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Please don't leave without leaving a like if this was able to help you. And why so shady? I did this for you, homie. If you have anything that you guys want to see, let me know that down in the comments. And I'll do my best to help you out with that either in the comments or in a video. Remember to subscribe to the channel with notifications on because I upload every day. Thank you guys. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.